talking about um, this reshuffling of polling units, it has had its toll yes. on voters because yes. many people um, now realize that their polling units is not as close to them as they wanted it. They so have to go a distance. They have yeah. to go a distance. And some of those places are not trackable. Because of the curfew. And they could not really move, as in vehicles are not on the roads. And mm. um, uh, most of them would be, they will not even be encouraged to want to go the distance just because, the, uh, because of, uh, they need to cast the election. Because mm. when they think about it, like, okay, why do I have to go all the distance when um, I don't even know if my vote would, uh, would count at the, at the end of the day? It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, um, it's an irony for um, a country where we've been uh, crying about voter apathy. We've been mm. crying with the fact that um, many people don't show up. They register, but they don't show up on election day. Mm. And for the first time, Nigerians are enthusi enthusiastic to show mm. up. And then there's a glitch. Yes. And that glitch is also increasing mm. the voter apathy. It, it costs the question a lot of things. Again, I think, yes, it does have its plate full, but there's certain loose ends that should have been tied before, uh, before last minute. I mean, and that's one of the things that uh, Bayo was making reference to, that why wait? Mm. Bayo, I want to come back to you with a question that I have. Um, I have spoken to a group of civil societies who have continuously questioned why INEC cannot keep that portal open. We call it continuous voter registration, but then they shut the portal down at some point because they want to get ready for the elections and, in their words, clean up the voter register and you know, allow INEC to work. But in other climes, I mean, Section 10 of the, elect the New Electoral Act clearly states that the voters' registration should be continuous. As long as you're 18, you should be able to register and get your PVC. Shouldn't that be an aspect where civil society and, of course, people who are of like mind should, you know, key into and continue to petition or one way or the other lobby members of the National Assembly to make it a bill of sorts or restate it clearly so that people will be allowed at any point in time? Because even as we speak, sir, someone just turned 18. Absolutely. Um, I mean, we're hitting all the right points you know, this, this, in this discussion. Um, for instance, if you give birth to a child, it's mandatory that you go to the National Population Commission, you present the, birth, the, the certificate issued by the hospital, the, the, you know, the one attesting to the birth of the child, and you register that child and you get a birth certificate. It's seamless. There's no problem. You don't see people queuing up to get birth certificates. You don't see people queuing up to get ATM cards in the bank. Why can't we get voter's card? Why must we queue up to get voter's card? Once you turn 18, you should be able to walk into the National Population Commission office or the INEP office, whichever one is close to you, register and collect the PVC. We must not wait until elections. I agree that INEP will need to clean up and update register. So those, that still shouldn't stop people from registering. You may just say, look, if you're going to vote in the 2023 elections, you ought to have registered by this date, okay? If you're not registered by that date, unfortunately, you won't be able to vote. But if you still want to register even after that date, you can, though you will not be able to vote in these 2023 elections. This way, the exercise actually lives up to its name, which is continuous voters' registration. You are absolutely right that it's not being done. And we all, I don't think we should leave this to civil society groups, in the mosques, in the churches, in, you know, everywhere. We should continue to impress it on the authorities. This is what should happen. Because in my view, it's going to reduce the cost of elections. When we wait until elections are one year away, and then ask everybody now to come and register, you have accumulated millions of people who turned 18 three years before. You are creating a logistic nightmare. So I feel this has to change. And it's one of the major lessons we should take from the current elections. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.